Okay. That's probably the right fish. I have to think it is. This is head. Yeah, There's yeah, fish this, here. This, this, this. There's a fish on this one. There's a fish on that you one. You want to catch that? There's fish on every one of these. Ten more bait is right. Holy hat. We're going through bait like gangbusters here. Folks, welcome to this episode of Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. I appreciate you spending your time with the kid. Guess the fish my mouse. First of all, let's get rid of this first way. Text, do the old dogfish toss. Taxi! <laughs> I'm only kidding, only about half of the con drinks like that cat right there, right? Well, let me assure you that no fish got hurt in the uh, filming this episode. What is this episode? It is a how-to, just a screw around how-to, how to catch fish on structure, chunking. And do you have to necessarily have structure to catch fish? No, but will your odds go up? It all depends where you are, right? Right here in this episode, we're fishing on the North Shore of Long Island, but this could apply to any place, South Shore, out East between the forks, how you doing out there? It doesn't really make a difference, but what I'm gonna to try to get to is a couple of components here that are very important. Gear, bait, and location, all right? You have to know where the fish are, where they sleep, where they live, I ain't done. That's where you wanna target them, you wanna be able to pull them off with fresh pieces of bait. Yes, the bait up there is extremely important. Why, we're gonna to get to that a little bit in the video. First of all, I'm gonna just show you how this really went down right now. We went out there, we screwed around, we had a dozen bunker, and we're just doing a quick afternoon trip just as a goof, all right? We've been trying to tune the fish. We've been catching tuna fish like crazy. But why not go back to our roots, back to bass fishing up on the North Shore? What we were doing screwing around is we were doing the live feed on Instagram. So this video is going to be somewhat obnoxious. What is he thinking? They're all obnoxious. I disagree. They're arousing. Kept having fish head to fish head to fish. Sometimes four fish hitting rods. So I'm going to go through that real quick and show you. And then we get to the meat and bones of this, all right? So let's go to the fish right now. And we'll get to the meat and the bones right after. Fish. Oh, fish. All right. I'm gonna hold off on this thing. Running? Was this catch going too? That guy was going too. The good luck is the sandwich. Oh boy. Oh boy. Lisa made this. Oh Here's where I make a brilliant move here. I wrap a chunk around the other rod, which is fishing, and I'm untangling it. Hashtag, no bueno. I'm on, but I don't know what it is. It doesn't, it's not fighting bass. Uh, Alright players, watch how fast my ninja move is when this thing hits. Oh, this is ridiculous. Are you alive? I'm alive and I got a fish on. I got a fish. We don't make this up! <laughs> Fish down, lady. That's bad. <laughs> yeah, boy! That's a stripe, bass, and none of this. Can you get the fish? Is it a bass? Ah, that rod's gonna. If you can just lift that I'll rod up. No, I'm yeah, that's right. 
No, that was never even, I never got that down. Oh, this isn't even in that audio? It wasn't? Is it baited? Oh, shit. I think this is a dog. Or what? This is a dog. This is a dog. Just scoop this, maybe? Or I can? That's, that's an eater. All right, here, give me a rod. Take I'll, that. I'll get it, I'll get it. All right, ready? That's an eater. I got this. Okay, good to go. That's good. That's gotta be an eater. Gotta be. Yes, that's right, folks. A keeper, striped bass, 2023. Literally finding a unicorn out there. All right, every fish is usually way too big. This fish measured live on Instagram right there, 30 and a half inches. Right under there, scouts on it. However that is, never was a scout, all right? Now, you know what I did? I do remember scouts, though. Took my son, hunted the scouts. Every three seconds, they were putting their hands up, telling everybody to shut the hell up, all right? I'm not quite sure. I literally went to one scout meeting, and the be quiet fingers, whichever, the three or four fingers, or whatever it was, a lot went up a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get off that topic though. All right, what are we doing now? Tex bleeding that thing. Gills it, throws it head first in a bucket of water. Boom, bleeds her out, just like we do with the tuna, and into the ice bath it goes, all right? We eat our fish, all right? One fish, 30 of me, we don't get that many keepers, all right? So we take them when we can get them. We're not proud. The beginning of that was rough, right? All that silly fit. What I was trying to show was the bite that was happening out in the feed, right? There was just so much. Every couple of seconds the stuff was going off but now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the bait right now how we're setting these rigs up these are tony masha rods and they are the mojo rods all right the mojo rods obviously are multi-purpose rods you can chunk with them Mike chunk with four of them all right and they're perfect actions you can see as the as the action of the fish on it really handles those fish really well and it also could handle a dragging a mojo with braid on it for big stripe bears. So buy them or not, that's what we're using and they work great. Tony Maja rods, the link will be in the description below for Tony Maja products. Uh, and that's basically it. We're gonna go through the setup here real quick. Tex is gonna show you what it is. And we're going through the system here. That's the hook. Check that bad boy for, uh, make sure there's no scale on it. That's what we're looking at right there. All right, the text is gonna launch this one. We want that bait to free up. This is it in a nutshell. Here's the rig. Boom, the sinker. Fish finder rig, bead, barrel. We got 60 pound test lead in 60. Here. 60 pound, I'm on the filming, you don't need floor for this stuff. All right, and that hook right there is crucial. All right, why are we hooking it through the back like that? Whatever you want to call it, the spine. Whatever, it's not the spine, but it's the back of the fish. The reason that we're doing that is because we're on the chunk, we're not surf casting. I would do it differently if I was surf casting because you have a lot of velocity on the cast with surf casting and that probably would rip right out of its back, all right? But what we're doing, we're kind of doing the pendulum swing. We're gonna pitch on the hand and launch these baits out without much stress on them so they kind of hang on. The reason that we do that through the back is that when a fish, especially a big fish hits, that fish will rip that bait through the spine and free that bait and get that bait either down its gullet or it'll fly away and get out of, the, out of the fish. The other ones, when you hook it through the mouth, what happens is it doesn't free up. And sometimes what that fish will do is it's fighting. It spins that bait in its mouth and the bait rehooks itself into the chunk 
seats that hook and you're done. You're not gonna get that fish. You're gonna fight that thing for a while and then you know, it's gonna spit it because what's ultimately gonna happen? You're gonna do ultimately is you're gonna pull that bait and that sunken hook in the head right out of the fish's face. It's gonna say, hey, thanks for cooking. Shake at least take care and brush your hair. All right? And by the way, I've been using brush hair since 2007, all right? So don't give me any of these Instagram people that are doing that crap. All right, get some fish. Google it, look. Sean, hold on. Huh? Sean Gary fishing. All I know is throwing tackle makes some quality colors here. <laughs> What's up, kid? What's up? How are you guys making out? All good in the hood. I Believe it or not, got a, we got a yeah, unicorn. I was gonna say. Yeah, we got your dad now. He's just putting out the rest of the set. We can't get four rods out without getting bit. You're over there. Yeah, yeah well, right. dogs and uh, dogs and bass. Bass. All right, try but, to pluck one more. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> Uh, Looks like your dad's going home with the bears. Uh, I, I got a lot of tuna. All right, so you got body bait going out now. So what we're doing here is you don't need these. I'm talking on yeah, video okay. camera. No biggie, kid. Uh, you dad can hear you though. So yeah, we're doing all right, bud. Yeah, we'll buzz you in a little bit. Yeah, all right. There we go. Love now you, bud. Love you. Love you, love you, love you, love you, pookies. How are we doing this? We're running four rods. Two on each side. You don't need these rod holders right here, all right? These rod holders are, uh, you can get these things custom made, whatever you want to do, or what we used to do back in the days. We used to just lay the rods on the deck, bail open. You're going to see me catch a fish a little bit, and you're going to look like as I'm pulling it out that the fish is hooked up. It's not. It's not that I have like a wealth of experience here, but as I'm grabbing that rod, I'm throttling the uh, drag and I'm hooking it up because he's really running on me. So I know how to do that. So don't think that that was closed and that thing was hooked up. Because if that's the case, if it's closed and that fish took, that freaking rod is going into Pluto. Make sure all those bales that you have laying on the deck or in those rod holders are open. Free spool with the clicker on. The clicker will indicate to you that there's a strike, obviously, and you can hear it, you can react to it, you can see which one it is. So now we're gonna apply all that stuff, right? Chunk it. We're doing body baits. We're doing head baits. I personally prefer the head bait when you're going to go really big fishing. It kind of kicks away these dogfish. We're, getting, we're, we're battling a lot of dogfish and striped bass in the mix there. So it's it's a, it's a probably a 50-50 hit on it. We're releasing these fish. But I don't want to go through. If you guys watch this on Instagram, it was completely off the charts. It was fish after fish after fish. I mean, I'm not bragging. Trust me. This is not about me bragging. Trust me. I've been in the whole thing since he still. Uh, I'm kidding. All right. No, it's not about me bragging. It's just about the amount of freaking volume that was going through there. And why is it doing that? Not because I'm super sleuth, uh, Mr. F Bass Fisherman. It's because I'm pushing out good bait. I'm putting myself in the right positions. And I'm freaking been around the block once or twice. Double park maybe here and there. I don't know. I don't know. Why would you do something like that, right? Why don't you just do something in the middle of a video like that? It's a stupid oh, Get something, it's my moosh. All right, so let's go. I'm going on a tear right now. I don't want to start snapping right now, right? Make America great exactly. That's what we need to do. Give us a little time. Crush evil, all right? Don't, I'm not even gonna get started on that. I gotta, right, just let's go big fish right now. That is a very good bass head. <laughs> That's a bass head. Yeah. Back up. That guy had no choice but to get hooked. And that's a 45 pound bass. Pound bass. That is a big bass. Hold on. Just lift that up. Yes, yeah. I'll get the other one in a second. Sorry about the filming. That's a big that's bass. A bass. Oh, oh my god, over, that No, over. you're over it. Yeah, you're good. Alright. Take the big no, film, film. Alright. So you're total oh yeah, when he comes up top, that's a 40 pound bass right there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna say 30 pound? Yeah, I'm gonna say 30. Okay, 30's good. Oh, I like when they, oh, <laughs> he just came up top. <laughs> yeah, he was just up top. Oh, it's a 30 pound bass, just stay, at least. Just stay with the camera. Please. Yeah, no, I'm here. I just, uh... What do you, why do you always get lucky when you wear hog fin? Why do you catch these big fish with that? They're not hog? called big fish, they're called hogs. They're hogs. Oh, there's another no, bite. No, that's us. Okay. Really? Somewhere How is that here. us? That's him. He's a freaking beast. Yeah, he's a big fish. Yep. Hold on one second. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I think he's clear. Yep. Hold on. Or he's. Come on, you stupid ass reel. Did you go clear in it? It's a hog. <laughs> it's another hog. And we haven't been doing a lot of bass fishing. Yeah. Yeah, you're still caught up in that guy. What do you want me to do? Nothing. Nothing? Him, we lose him. No, yeah. We'd he's like to big. see him. We know he's too big to keep. 
He's coming up. There he is. Oh boy. Look at the size of that. Way fish. too big. Look at the size of that. That is a 35 pound fish. Right, let's get take care of her real quick. Why don't you not even bring it on the boat? I'm not, yep. All right, so you, uh, you film, you take care of it. I'll hold this. I'll, I'll hold film. this. I, release. Show people Bye. how to release. Oh! <laughs> Come on. All right, so now we're off to a con shout out right now. Yeah, that was a sick fish. Thank you very much. Take it easy and shake it easy. I got it. All right, this con shout out comes in from my girl, Allison. She's not my girl. She's Matt's girl. Matt Maritix, all right? Matt Maritix and my boy, Nicholas Sango, all right? I call him Nico Sango. I don't even know him. But if I if his name was Nicholas and he was with my guys, one of my guys, I call him Nico. Nico Sango. I call Scott Scooter. That's what I do. I make shiitake up, all right? Those cats were out there with uh, Matt's dad. His name is Alan Maritick. And they were out there dragging, what do you think? Sterlings right here. They're sterling guys. Sterling tackle out of Montauk and catching some yellowfin tuna. That's them right there. They're getting this week's con shout out of the week. Why? Because Alan, not Alan. Alan's the dad. This is a cluster ref right here. Allison reached out to the kid to do a con shout out. What happens? The kid provides. Thank you, Allison. By the way, I'm getting more attention here. Here's my car. Shout out, shake. Jeez, sorry about that. I'm gonna have this right now. This is so not. This is not even right. I don't even know what this is. Mr. Kid, that this. I'm having a little vino. Why? I'm working like a one-on paper hanging with all these freaking things I'm putting out right now. Ah, shake it ace. Fishing four baits. This is fresh bait. Text got from where'd you go? I went to that was Causeway. Causeway bait and tackle. Tough to get bunker, man, and they're expensive. And you gotta get the right bunker. I know you're like a psycho. If you, it's almost like you're dealing with sushi. I left two places because it wasn't the product. Yeah, you have to almost go like it's sushi grade. You want to make sure those eyes are clear. If it's not, then it's just not a fresh piece of bunker. If you guys were following on Instagram, the live feed here, we had a million fish here, and it's all because of not our skills. Is that yeah, we put us on the right spot. However, it's the bait, fresh bait, fish do not not know that. That's it, I'm very surprised we haven't gotten bit yet, but I'm gonna see if I can pick up a, a rod tip as the rod tip gets bit while I'm showing you how, it, how it's gonna happen. Little tip for the uh, viewers, keep clean water, wipe your hands off, and go to a dry rag. You try to set the hook, and oh, yeah. that rod, your hands are wet and that rod goes, see you later, bye bye. It's not as important if you're a, a passenger on a boat, because yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got no yeah, skin in the game. This is the first two seconds we've had, believe it or not. Yeah. Oh my god. So one of these is going to get hit even in a couple seconds, I'm certain of it, because that's just the way it was going. And uh, there it is, this fish right here is getting hit. So watch the tip of this rod if you can watch it. I'm going to see if it's going to happen again. Just let it go, I don't even touch the text yet. We could miss a fish if we have to, for the sake of learning. So I can see the top of that rod. Got picked up. It's very hard to say. Just so you know, there's no uh, shenanigans here. It's gonna be touching this rod. This rod should go off. It, the, the, the fish already just came, either picked it up and sitting there with it, or it picked it up just to take, take a peek at it and then feel that it's fresh and he's gonna say hello to it. There it goes. There it goes again. Just tipped it again. So, again, this, this rod's gonna go off. I'm not a Houdini, I just know it's gonna happen. All right, I'm gonna see this rod go off in a second. Camera's on it. Fish is on it. Fish is on it. See, right now, Tex would have grabbed this rod, opened the bale, and pointed at the fish, but we're not gonna do that. Because I just wanna show you that this is gonna go off. This rod's gonna go off. This is the bite. Playing with it, there he goes, there he goes. And he's gonna take off. He's gonna take off in a second. He knows he has a fresh piece of bait from Causeway Bait and Tackle. Soon he will go away with it. The suspense is killing me. There he goes, he's gonna go. There he goes. All right, you can pick him up now. Now he's gonna open the bail and he's gonna take off with it. Okay, let's get back to fishing. Cause I'm all over this place, right? I'm like a schizo. How are we doing this? 
Where I'm doing it, you can do this everywhere. There is structure, I don't care where you are. If you have a crap hole over in Connecticut, your chanteloons over there, or if some crackheads over in Jersey. The big money is where I am up in the North Shore of Long Island, all right? But if you're on the Benjamins and you live in a crap hole up in Connecticut, on the water over there, or anywhere over there, or out in Montauk, it's fake news. But you're the real deal. You just go and you find structure. I'm not talking about broken down cars. I'm talking about rock piles, wrecks. Kid, you're crossing the line, but it's very attractive. Yes, that was way out of line. I apologize. I take all that back. Connecticut, your lovely Jersey. You know Jersey's my peeps. Stop calling me right now. You know Jersey. I'm so strong in Jersey. I love Jersey. I don't know why Jersey likes the kid. Jersey's mint. I don't know why he likes the kid. Bunch of gendaloons over in Jersey. A lot of gendaloons in Jersey. But the Jersey Con, I go to the Edison show there. So much love there. Love those cats back. You know I bust their beans. Why? Because Jersey can take it. All right? That's why I do it. Love them. All right? So stop it. Let me get back to work here. I'm not even working. This is a jet jump. All right? But how am I doing this, right? So now I'm going to use my wine glass as structure. This is an asinine thing I'm doing there. But... You go out there and you have Echo, you could have Charge, you could have Namiana chips, and you'll see, jeez Louise, for the love of God, who's this? Matt Latini. He's, he's texting me, trying to get another tuna chip, that's Big Matt. That's who's texting me right here, this guy right here. Trying to get on my boat again, get a tuna chip back. So, structure, get your Namiana chip and you look at it, right, boom, I see rocks, I see rocks, okay. This is, I'm going to simplify this as simple as I possibly can. Here is... Let's think, the top of the screen, here's the water. Here's your structure on the bottom. The current is going this way, right? Here we go, here we go. What we're gonna do now is, our boat's up here, and the structure's below the boat, yeah, right? This is mint. This is how I'm gonna try to explain this to you cats. The boat is on top of the structure, right? We're gonna stop the boat completely. Dead ball's on top of your structure. Stop it. As you drive to it, kick it in reverse, make sure that boat stops. The cessation of motion is what we're getting to here, right? Stop it. Give a second, talk to your people. As you just start to drift, take a drift, and then come back to the piece, all right? You're gonna mark the piece, and then you're just gonna go drift. You're gonna take count to 30, whatever it is. You're gonna drift away, obviously, because the current's gonna drift you away. The current's gonna drift you over here, say. All right, huh. So now I gotta get back, I need to get back to here, right? I'm, I was here, coming over here, I stopped on, that was over here. I stopped it, I drifted this way. Hmm. So this tells me that the current is pushing me this way. So I'm going to take this boat now, and I'm going to go drive dead balls over it, the mark that we had made. I'm going to keep going. Now i got to change hands here. Now we're going to go back up, all right? And I don't care how deep you are. In the beginning of the season, it's going to be shallower. The deeper you get is in the summer. When the water gets hotter, cooler water blows. You want to get deeper water, all right? I'm going to drop the anchor, and that... What's going to happen? The anchor's going to set, and you're just going to start working your way back. You're going to start working your way back. I want you to set up. Before you get to this piece here, I want you to stop that stop here. I want you to stop at about 80 feet up current of that structure, all right? So what um, you're going to be doing is you're, now your boat's up here because you stopped it. This is, I don't know if this is making any sense. And you're going to be dropping now. You're up here. How you doing? This is me up here. I'm going to drop my baits down, and they're going to drop right here. It's gonna drop before the piece because you don't want to throw into the piece, you get hung up. I'm looking at my camera as I'm doing this, so I, you bear with me. And this is wine in my hand. You probably said, Kill this is a rose. I don't know what it is, but I'm having it, so get over that crap. All right, so the bait's here. What's it doing? I'm gonna pretend the wine glass is a fish now. The fish now with the olfactory glands are gonna say, Geez Louise, is that fresh freaking bunker that Kill was talking about a couple minutes ago? The key is fresh bunker because what happens is. You have the slime coat, everything is drifting down, everything's cherry vanilla. It's basically a brand new homicide going on. It goes like this, the fish say, hey, what the hell is that? They come out, and they go, hey, how you doing? And they say hello to him. What they do, they pick it up. That's where your rod tip happens, right? All right. Hey, remember, I remember the kid saying, boom, boom, the rod tip, that's him coming out and saying, hi, how you doing, piece of bait? What happens next? It's like, that frick, I'm just curious. That freaking bait is cherry vanilla. I'm gonna pick it up, I'm gonna get back to my crib. Oh no, you're not face. Because what's gonna happen? The kid's gonna set you up before that happens. I don't let you take care. Brush your hair. That's fishing 101. Thanks for watching. May the grace of God shine upon you and your family, baby. Always, players, stay in this favor. Be nice to one another. Make America great again. It's the freaking greatest place in the world. Bring God back to your family and your friends. 
that's all. That's all today's gonna be. All right, kids blowing up right now. I gotta finish this. Get some days.